All right, so we dreamed for a long time about having a tiny house. And in 2012, in August, we bought this camper and decided we were gonna turn this into our tiny house. Um, the camper was 24 feet long and eight feet wide. It was made by Layton in the 1960s. It didn't have a title and it was old. Um, so we made a design and we started to tear it apart. Um, it took me several days because I was doing it all by myself and I ripped, uh, ripped all the metal out and all the cabinets and took my saw and just started cutting. I really had never done anything like this before so I had no idea what I was doing. I just started tearing things out, hitting things with hammers, taking screws out, and eventually I got it down to just the skeleton that you see there. Um, I wondered for a little while how I was going to get the roof off the thing. Because the roof was very heavy, it was very unstable at this point, and I wasn't sure what to do. So I tied a rope around it, and I started pulling. And I pulled, and I pulled, and eventually the whole thing just fell over. Just kind of exciting. And uh, then a lot of work started at that point. Because we planned on scrapping all the metal from the camper. We paid $200 for it and we were hoping to get that back in scrap metal. So we started scrapping it, separating out all the metal from the wood as I tore it apart. And uh, after about two weeks, I ended up with um, a nice sized pile of metal and uh, a pile of wood to take off to the dump and this flatbed that you see here. And um, we did some thinking, decided that it was too rotted. We took it apart and uh, started to rebuild on it on top of that so here you see the scrap metal that we collected up just the day before we took it to the to the scrap yard and we ended up getting about two hundred dollars back in scrap metal and for the labor it definitely wasn't worth it, it took a lot of work I didn't get a lot of money back and um, it wasn't worth it at all but it, we, we, we basically got the camper for free so here was my first really good breakthrough I got those windows at Lowe's they were returned and I paid about 80% of what, 80% uh, off. So I paid about 20% of what they were actually worth. I paid $300 for the set. So I got on Google SketchUp and I made a new design, which you can see here, uh, with the actual window sizes that I had and started to plan the build for the tiny house. Now things changed over time uh, a little bit, but what you see here in this image is pretty much what I built um, once I started going. So I suggest you always check Craigslist because you get great things. We got this cabinet set for free on Craigslist. I didn't pay a dime for it other than what it cost me to go and get. And it was about 45 minutes from my house. A gentleman was tearing out the, the oak cabinets, and yes, they're solid oak, and replacing them with cherry. He didn't like the brown oak color. And when I arrived, I was only supposed to get a cabinet or two. After telling him what I was doing, he gave me the entire set, which is awesome. So a friend heard that I was building a tiny house and he started digging around and found this uh, antique mahogany wine cabinet, which we um, snatched up from him quickly and we planned on making a vanity out of it. All right, now that we've collected some things, uh, it was time to start building. So here I started to build a new deck uh, on top of the wooden front, on top of the steel frame. And um, basically everything's two by four construction, plywood, and I bought all the wood at Lowe's I got a major deal on it. It was coal lumber, so the boards were twisted and bent or the corners were knocked off of them. But I got all the materials for 90% off, which is crazy. Um, that entire deck cost me about 65 bucks, which is absolutely phenomenal. So, um, about that time my brother-in-law got married. So here's some pictures of that. Congratulations, guys. And uh, this is what happened afterwards. All right, so um, back to building the tiny house. So I kept going back to that same local Lowe's store and every week they would have a new coal pack of two by fours. And I got kind of became buddies with the manager and just told him what I was doing and he would pile them up for me and I would go back and get them. And it depended on how bad they were. There were times where I got them for half price. There were other times when I got them for the 90% the off and I paid a dime on the retail dollar, which was phenomenal. Altogether, the framing, entire framing for the house, including the lumber for the roof, only cost me about $500, which is just fabulous. Um, 
that's the plywood and everything that's the whole bit so uh, I was so excited through the cabinets in to kind of get an idea for what the space is gonna look like um, and you know just had fun with it the t111 siding it's the thinnest siding that they sell at Lowe's uh, was what we decided to put on the house uh, we wrapped it with house wrap first to keep it watertight and uh, started putting the siding up so you can see here, the siding's almost finished. It's dark out, it's starting to snow on me. It's about November now. So I started in August, and now it's November and the snow's coming down. So, time to start putting the electrical in. So we started with, uh, with the electrical. Very easy to do. I ran everything with the uh, yellow wire, which is what's used for kitchen and bathroom, but I bought a 250-foot spool of it. It was everything I needed. Um, my wife picked out that light, she loves it. I picked out the ceiling fan, I love it. Um, so we got everything all wired up. Very easy to do. Never wired anything before in my life, but not a problem. Uh, anybody can do it. Yes, it makes a mess. So I had lots of garbage to throw away afterwards, but um, pretty easy. Here's the bathroom wall. That's going to separate the bathroom from the, the living room. And here's a shot of it again with the plywood and everything up on it. Now I've got it insulated. I'm starting to put up um, Luon panels on the inside for my siding. Around that time, we decided to move. So uh, now it's springtime. It's about August, uh, April, and we've moved the tiny house about 30 miles. And I moved it with a, a 1999 Dodge Ram that had over 200,000 miles on it. No problem. It hooked it right up, pulled it away. Um, so we start working on the house again. And here's the bathroom. We started putting cedar in, which I love. It smells fabulous. We stained the outside of the tiny house red. We put hardwood floors in. This is Bruce hardwood flooring. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, finished the, the paneling on the inside. Used some of the cedar to make trim for the windows. Um, just sort of, just all the little finishing details that the house needed. And um, mostly pretty easy to do, but it is time consuming. We put a slate floor in. We had to put hardy backer down for that before it went in. So that took some time and it added some weight to the house too. But that's no big deal. Put in a tile backsplash in the kitchen. And here's my family enjoying the tiny house. It's almost finished at this point. Um, there's our kitchen sink installed and all ready to go. This is an interesting part of the tiny house. This is a walking loft. And uh, it was a solution for how to get into the lofts and not have multiple ladders because we did have two lofts. And uh, here you can see my boys up in my room. Uh, I carved these out from tree branches myself that I had cut a few months back and were letting dry and made the banisters out of logs and things that we cut down ourselves. And there's my son enjoying the new banister. <laughs> uh, basically the walking loft is, is three steps up a ladder and then you're on a loft and you can walk into either area. Um, the little couch you see we, did, we stole from a camper and um, works out great because it pulls out. Now, um, as you see there, that, that video represents a year of our life from, from August to August, August 2000 to uh, 2012, 2012 to 2013, and um, here in a month or so, the whole thing will be finished, and I'll post a video of that. Um, thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned for more videos.